We're here with Patty Terrell from the Women's Journey Foundation, and she is doing amazing work to empower young women, girls, and women of all ages. Patty, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate being here. I'm yeah. so excited to hear about the evolution of your organization. You've yes. really, you've come so far in how many years now? 17 years. Wow. Yeah, it went by really fast. Right, like in a blink, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Wow. So how yeah. did you get started? Well, you know, I began uh, with, you know, we're all around my dining room table, my girlfriends and I, and we were sharing one another's stories, and some of the stories were sad, some of them were happy, but we were all so intrigued and inspired by each other's experiences, and we thought, wouldn't it be great if we brought women together to share our stories, because there's so much we can learn from one another, right? Mm -hmm. And so uh, the year after that, we decided to put together our very first festival, Women's Festival, and it was really well attended. And we brought in some um, some speakers that talked about their own personal experiences, you know, the, the triumphs, the challenges that they had in their lives. And then from that, it grew into uh, a multi-generational program uh, for both women and girls. Mothers could bring their daughters, and grandmothers could bring their granddaughters. And, uh, and we developed our free self-esteem program for at-risk girls from that point on. Wow. Yeah. So now you've got the conferences that you do yes. for Women's Journey, and you've also got the programs that you're doing for girls. Yeah. One of the things that really spoke to me so deeply about what you're doing is the acknowledgement that there's really no formal education around women in history. That's right. Yeah. Tell us about that. Well, because we're focused on building girls' self-esteem, we realize that the stories of women in our in our recent history and our recent or in our past, of the, especially American history, were not being shared. Mm -hmm. In fact, less than five percent of educational materials include women. Really? Less than five percent, yes. Oh wow. my gosh. Are yeah. you talking about like public school systems? Yes. Oh my Yeah, if you goodness. look into the books, you'll see that very few women are mentioned. Um, a lot of women don't know uh, that women couldn't get credit in their own names until 1973. <gasps> there was a time when women couldn't own property. They couldn't mm -hmm. own their own business. Right. So we've come a long way, and yet we still have a distance to go. Mm -hmm. And we feel that when girls understand that we have a legacy, mm -hmm. and that we are here where we are today because someone paved the way for us. Mm -hmm. Right. So we're sharing their stories. Oh, I love that. And yeah. when I personally feel like, you know, I'm having maybe some gender problems at work or mm -hmm. that I'm feeling kind of picked on because I'm a woman, it's really nice to have those stories mm -hmm. sure. of like, you know, people who have done it before me who are, who are you know, weathered much sure. worse. Oh, you yeah. I had many, many more challenges. And were they so had strong. a harder time of it, that's mm -hmm. for sure. But yet they were so brave and they mm -hmm. just stepped out there and they, why did they do it? They didn't really weren't doing it for themselves because they mm -hmm. may not, they may have realized they weren't going to see changes in their lifetime. Mm -hmm. They were doing it for future generations. Yeah. Sure. That's and great. nobody can identify the pictures, you know, Harriet Tubman, Rosa Parks, mm -hmm. the suffragettes. Mm -hmm. When you ask young girls, even even my own friends, we look at them and say, yeah. not sure, who is mm -hmm. that? Yeah, I interview a lot of young people and I'll ask them one simple question. What woman in U.S. history inspired you the most? And nine times out of ten, they can't name one. Really? Wow. So do yeah. you find that helping to share those stories do increase their self-esteem yes. somehow? How, they, how does that work? Because they understand what the struggles were, mm -hmm. and then they also understand that there's a legacy there, which mm -hmm. they didn't, they weren't aware of mm -hmm. before. Right. So that gives them the, the confidence, like, wow, they could do that, I can I do see. this. I see. That's well, I a lot. think there's a whole generation that thinks women always have the vote. Women have the right to vote. Women have the right to work wherever they want. Right. Women have the right to wear whatever they want. Right. It right. wasn't always that way. No, and there was a huge amount of resistance at that time, too. So they were facing an uphill battle. Well, and, and it's not that way in many other places of the world even today. Right. That's right. So we are so lucky. Yeah. And it's, uh, but it is, yeah. you know, again, like you say, we do have further to go and there are continued challenges. Right. Right. So how, how are you also, like, in addition to teaching them the history and the legacy, how are you also encouraging them to develop oh, self-esteem? Good question. Uh, we have uh, our self-esteem program is different workshops um, that builds girls' confidence in a way of helping them discover that they have talents and strengths. So uh, for one, one workshop that we have, we give each girl a balloon mm -hmm. and five slips of paper. She has to write down five things that she likes about herself. They tend to struggle with one. Mm -hmm. So we try to facilitate, help them understand what their mm -hmm. strengths are and what their dreams are. 
and they can write on those pieces of paper, I am a great artist, I'm a great athlete, even though they may not feel that way about themselves, that's something they aspire to be, mm -hmm. they put those pieces of paper in that balloon, they blow up the balloon, tie it up, and on the outside of the balloon they have to write down all the negative things that have been said to them. Oh, or the things they think about themselves, right? Uh -huh. And then we, we talk about that. How can we overcome those feelings of inadequacy? Mm -hmm. How can we be, you know, become stronger and more confident mm -hmm. in ourselves? And once they can determine what those things are, they pop the balloon. All that's left inside are the positive things. Oh, right? I love that. And then we have them pick up the pieces of fragment and balloon. All of a sudden those big words like, I'm an idiot, I'm fat, I'm stupid are much smaller in size, mm. so therefore less significant. Oh, that's wow. And the light bulbs that's go off so in their crazy. head. So, so we have several, they're all, all of our workshops are interactive and fun uh -huh. and engaging. Mm -hmm. Where do you do these that's workshops? Amazing. Well, we do them um, at our girls, annual girls conference. We just had one, over 350 at-risk girls attended. Wow. And then we also um, do them at the Boys and Girls Clubs, mm. um, Girl Scouts, um, and we're about ready to introduce it into the school system. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. great. We're excited about that. And what are you doing for the multi-generational? That's, I know a lot yeah. of people would like to bring their daughters, granddaughters, nieces. Right. Um, typically we've had a, a women's program and a girls program going at the same time, but mm -hmm. we're 100% volunteer operated, so mm -hmm. it's kind of hard to do. Yeah. Both yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we've separated them, but what we're doing with Making Her Story, we do this every year in, in March to celebrate mm -hmm. Women's History Month, mm -hmm. and we invite moms to bring their daughters, and, and it's, it's, it, that's a generational experience, mm -hmm. and then that way they can learn about women in American history together. Oh, I think that's really yeah. neat. That's wonderful. So yeah. where can we find you? Where can people get in touch and get more information? You can go to our website, womensjourneyfoundation.org. Womensjourneyfoundation.org. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you mentioned one thing that I think is super interesting. When you were talking about what you're putting inside the balloon, mm -hmm. you're saying, I am a great artist, even if though it's just something that they aspire to be. Yes. It's not, I will be a great artist. No. I am. I am. So tell me why you do it like that. The I am um, is the two strongest words in the entire human vocabulary. Mm -hmm. I am, you're affirming that you are this. Mm -hmm. So you're actually putting that mindset in place. Mm -hmm. you know, so if they aspire to be an artist, mm -hmm. and they say, I am an artist, they're actually planting that seed, mm -hmm. and it grows from there. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, Amy has four daughters. I oh, do. do, I have yeah. four daughters, oh, and fantastic. it's funny because like, as part of like my parenting you know, beliefs or whatever, I always, Tell my kid. Well, I shouldn't say always. So don't don't listen, girls. <laughs> I, I try to you do your best. I do my best. I try to tell them they are what I want them to be. Mm -hmm. You are smart. You are honest. You are good. You are you know. And then when they make mistakes, then I try to say, oh well, that's not like you. You right. know. So they don't associate I am bad. And mm -hmm. They don't have like the shame of it. You know. But yeah. it's 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 hard to do as parents, yeah. right? Yeah. And. I have often wondered if that is the right approach, but it, that makes me feel better. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, you're doing the right thing. Yes. For sure. Yeah. I did one thing right. Yeah. <laughs> You've done a lot of things <laughs> right. You've done a lot of things right. Yeah. Thank well, the, you. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, well, the reason why we do this is because 70% of girls have low self-esteem. 70? Yeah. Over 70% of girls have low self-esteem. Because oh, they so. don't have moms like you. Well, yeah. I'm... Yeah. I don't know. Better ask my girls. <laughs> <laughs> I have asked your girls. And everybody right. should have a mom like right. you. Absolutely. But yes. we're going to send all the moms and grandmas and aunties and everybody we can yes. to the Women's Journey Foundation .org yes. so Thank that you. they can participate and I'm going in to some bring of my these great programs. To the, uh, in March. Good. To the oh, yeah. Yeah. They'll love it. Be wonderful. They'll love I'm it. So excited. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Patty. You're welcome. And we'll be right back. <laughs>